Some people move on, but not us. I met my girlfriend in Helsinki, and Helsinki is a place that you and I have gone many years in a row due to a certain festival called Vapu. You want to tell us about it? Yeah, Vapu is the first of May, and it's basically them celebrating summer. They celebrate Finnish people celebrate it more than New Year's Eve. It's their biggest celebrations. So for many days, everyone hits the streets. They all wear these like mm -hmm. sailor hats. There's beautiful girls there. There's beautiful people there. Once we did a 10 day event, but now we've shortened it to five because it is really, really immense and chaotic, but a lot of game, a lot of sets because you're just bombarded. I think the 10 day event was exhausting, but brilliant yeah. in its design. We gamed in two cities, first in Stockholm, Sweden, then took one of those giant ships, 3000 people ship with a party on board over to Helsinki and then game the weekend there. And we game between weekends. Yeah. Just 10 days, 10 and, days nights. and nights of going out and gaming. And we made some masters out of that. There are some, that. some of our former students have become coaches from that very experience. 10 day event. Yeah. 10 day event. And you just went, right, I'm going to do 10 days. Of course, just I want to go all in. in. You know, what I, I would I always do. I go all in. I do what it takes. And if people always say, "Well, I have to make a lot of sacrifices," and you know, training, you have to sacrifice going to parties and whatever. You always have to go sacrifice. You have to work hard. But it's not a sacrifice if you love what you're doing. Right. So sometimes it's it's rough, but it's. The, the the road is there, you just have to pave it. Fair enough. The road is there, you just have to pave it. Now there are some guys that we know, we've met, we've interacted with a whole community of men, many of which have not yet met me personally in real life. They've seen my TV show, they've, you know, and it's a, it, you know, some people believe that it's a glorified thing, which really it isn't. I mean, that was all real world. Infield footage was all real. The cameras were hidden. Uh, they've read my books. Some of them have even gone so far as to uh, get inspired enough to 
uh, get into my DVDs, right? My uh, archive of DVDs, my home study courses, uh, audio books. What is, in your opinion, different from reading the book versus coming out with us? I feel that you you don't get an understanding of how it the the theory works with reality. And You're, you're sold in your head. What would you say to our friends who we've interacted with that are just holding off in the back of their head because they're living in their mom's basement, uh, coming out and hanging out with people they haven't met before is kind of, uh, it feels a little awkward. What would you say to them to convince them that what this uh, experience has been so far has been worthy? What would you say to them? First, I would say, I take a cold shower in the morning and you have to be uncomfortable to get going <laughs> and you have to take chances and this is a chance of a lifetime. I don't regret it and I want more women in my life and this is the best place to be if you want women in your life. You don't want to be a loser, have no friends, don't want to have a be the social center of uh, you want to be the social center of your family and your friends and your business partner and everything mm. you want to you want to you want to learn to socialize you want to get women and this is the best place to be in the world with these guys thank you Let's go outside and go see the sun. <laughs> <laughs>